So, after a couple of years off, I've decided to start buying things again for, at auctions. And I'm going to have a quick shifty at uh, some of the smaller items I picked up this week. Starting with this. This little box, rather neatly decorated, has a... Uh, it, it's seen the walls a bit. It's, it's a little bit battered and, as you can see, it doesn't quite line up properly. And it's made to do this. It's a caddy for carrying razors, old school razors, as you can see at the back, branded there as the Bostonian. And here's the razor that was in it. May not may, may not have been the one that came with it because this one says made in the USA, whereas this, if I can find the right light, says made in England. You might just be able to see that, it might be out of focus. But there, there we go. Rather pretty box. Could do with being uh, buffed a little and uh, the alignment sorted out. There we go. Quite cute. Also, there were a couple of other razors with it. Now, these are interesting. These are. Patented 1917, I believe. And if I, if I do this, I'll take it apart. Like and then this goes like this. And then this. Oh, come on. There we go. You may not be able to see it in this, in this, but that's very rusty. Do not shave with this blade. If you get this razor, put a new blade in, because there you go. Ouch. Another item I got was this, which is a rather dinky little voltmeter and ammeter. And I checked it earlier with the battery. And if I get everything lined up, this is the tricky part. That goes on there. Uh, you'll see, it still works. This battery won't work for much longer, but the voltmeter does. Really cute. I think it would look really good as part of a uh, steampunk cosplay outfit. You could hang it off a chain, put it in your wall, in your pocket, whip it out whenever you needed to check the volts of anything. Only goes up to six volts. Don't you know? Try anything seriously large. Um, the back's a little bit patinated. I'm not going to uh, polish these. I'm going to sell them as is because there's no real replacement for proper age when you uh, when you want something to have a nice patina on it. Another meter, a very different meter. Zeiss Icofot. Which is, if I can get this open, photographer's light meter. Really cute. Now I'm not sure how this is meant to work, so you can see the needles moving. I'd need to be a photographer to know whether that's telling me anything good or proper. Also comes with this slides off and pops into here to diffuse the light going into the meter. Goes in there like that. Okay. Oh, come on phone, focus, there we go. To diffuse the light so it gets a slightly more realistic reading. And then pops out, slides into here, like so. Have I got that lined up properly? Yes. There we go. So. What I do is I buy boxes. And uh, it's like these little boxes are snapshots of somebody's life. They're a little sad because they usually mean that uh, somebody's elderly relative has died and they don't know what to do with all this stuff. So they've just put it all together and put it in a box and put it in the sale. 
I do auction like this. This is an oil can, which uh, little just pump it out like that. Should have a top on there, but that's not with it, sadly. That's one of the risks you take with these things. There you go. Fill your oil can up. There's your. Uh, can't quite see it in this. It's not focusing, but you can actually see all the way through. There's a hole at the end. It hasn't completely clogged. Again, lots of age on this, lots of pattern. It's obviously been used quite a lot, and my phone does not want to focus on it. Come on. There we go. Okay, there. And this is quite sweet. I'm not sure what you'd put in this, because it's uh, when you open it, it's not stable. It goes like that. Jewelry, maybe? Uh, nothing edible with whatever that's lined with. T. Clark, 1905? 1905. Very pretty. So if you know a T. Clark, you may want to buy this for them. And lastly, possibly my favourite of the lot. When I saw this, I had to have the, uh, the lot it was in. And it's just that little bit too big to fit into my frame. Is that going to focus? No. So I'll put it on its side, just so you can have a... Uh, doesn't like to focus on it. Okay. So what this is is you take the top off and you go inside. You've got a little measuring glass. Yeah, it's got tablespoon. You can, you can see tablespoons in mirror there. You've got teaspoons, tablespoons. There's your measures on the sides. Yeah. And <coughs> oh there, sneeze right on camera. And you can just see cane chemists of Southport. That's really sweet. And this little carry case that it comes in, it's quite a snug fit was actually jammed in when I got it and I had to gently ease it out. Took a little bit of doing. Really sweet. And then that's just yeah, out of focus. Typical.